Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is your mid-month true love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Pisces. And let's see how this person and you feel about each other. The overall energy of the relationship and the outcome. If you need a personal reading, you can book it on my website. Everything is in the description below this video. And you do have this particular reading that is called True Love, True Love reading on my website as well, okay? Enjoy the bliss of time together, or some of you, you do have a holiday booked to see this person, a trip, or you're going to spend some time, or you waiting for them to come see you, spend some time with you, could be someone that is at a distance, it doesn't need to be, but uh, look at this playful energy and honeymoon, it's very, very playful, they see you also as wanting to be playful, recapture the romance, allow, uh, you know, the spirit of fun, and having this good times together. I feel that both of you feel very happy when you are with each other and have a good time. What's the overall energy? Pisces. Free yourself. So some of you need to take back control of your life. One of you, because this is the overall energy. So it's time to take back control of your life. And recapture that romantic energy of the relationship and have some fun together make the effort so this is a positive you're both willing to take the steps that you guided to take and what's the obstacle unrequited love okay so someone doesn't see long term here or sometimes feel that the other doesn't give back because one of you may need to do something major transform your life change your life in some way to be with each other because these feelings of well to keep the relationship going there's a need to be more uh you know the the attraction to come back you know to do more fun things together I do feel that you've had, you've experienced that in the past. Okay, we've got release X, love yourself first. Outcome for Pisces. Your love life is being affected by children. So some of you, you want to have some good times with a new person or someone that, that has children is kind of stuck with this X, I feel. Because of their children, you know, that's why there is this, uh, you know, they need to put themselves first and also to, to live this, you know, to take back control, maybe even leave the person that they have children with or you to be with this, um, this particular fun, loving, you know, energy here with someone. Hmm. Now, yeah. Wow, yes, there is that for some of you. I'm going to clarify because there must be other situations. Let's see. How do you see this person? That could be also... Um, you getting rejected by this ex, by this person that you have children with, or by this ex all the time, you feel like that, or you rejecting this particular person, and they keep on making an effort with you, to be with you, to have this, to recapture this romantic energy again with you, but they're not getting it back. Or you're not getting back from this person. If you feel like, you know, this is not, there isn't, you know, you keep getting rejected. It's because this person, you know, really wants to 
maybe embrace a new relationship okay, yeah it's right here it could for some of you it's a third party situation you need to put your, yourself first and stop you know it's like begging or you know it's not really begging but this person if he's not giving back stop really you know take control of your life and have fun there is someone else here that you could take maybe or meet afar um, a from lives afar from you you could have some uh, good times with them or you met while you traveled and this is not your ex it's uh, someone else let's see Pisces how do you see this person honeymoon justice okay you want to put things right once again enjoying time together it could be a libra this is bringing back harmony in a relationship there is maybe an awareness that this person could be still with this ex in the marriage you feel like you know you've awakened to justice to um maybe the fact that this is someone that is married okay now some of you it's the fact that um the love is reversed yeah this is really cheating the love is reversed for me is that energy of someone that is playing around playing cheating has more than one person you may have realized that or will realize that this person is with someone else okay with the lovers also could be this awareness of you not close anymore if it's not a third party okay that you're not close anymore and that intimacy is kind of you know you're not really uh, being intimate with each other that you need to be more playful and you're aware of what to do okay also you want this person to be aware as well of what to do to put things right with you the only way is to have this um, maybe go on, on holiday together or spend a weekend together lock the door in the bedroom <laughs> the whole weekend yeah. playfulness how you see them well how they see you how they see you so they want playfulness they could also be someone that yeah it's unrequited they don't want to go too deep but they enjoy spending time with you they don't want to fall in love with the ace of cups reversed they could just see it's a good time you know as a good time now they also if you are you know if if that's not the case if you are actually in a relationship and um, especially even you know for a long time with this person there is this unrequited love you feel that where is the love in this relationship why is this with the unrequited and the ace of cups it's uh, how they feel towards you so you may not be giving back the love to them you may not open to express your emotions or to get really deep in this in, in, in this uh, in this connection what else how they see you Queen of Pentacles reversed so Taurus Virgo Capricorn we've got Gemini Libra Cancer Scorpio Pisces but the, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed they feel insecure they feel like they're lacking stability or that right now you don't want to give them anything stable so is that playfulness here could even be someone that is confused about how they feel so they don't really want to start a relationship they want to just enjoy playfulness free yourself what's this energy here for Pisces and their true love okay take back control and this conflict maybe going back to someone that you've walked away from 
that's how you are going to take back control maybe I'm blocking this person someone got blocked or you or they are blocking you to end this this um, this type of uh, you know you, you maybe stop talking walked away and also to be less defensive someone needs to be less defensive and be able to kind of have a conversation I feel there's difficulties in really communicating with each other openly honestly communicating it could go into arguments or one shuts down doesn't want to speak to you know to the other and or speak about certain things make the effort that's a positive so let's see pisces ten of swords reverse so yeah to kind of you know get out of this painful experience that you had with them or to even avoid an ending queen of swords communication speaking tr your truth to them making the making the effort to communicate here Ten of Swords reversed and the Queen of Swords really making the effort to con have a conversation that will, you know, go through all of these swords that they feel or you feel you've got on your back. That something that they said, something they didn't do, something they did, you know, that really needs to be talked through and requited love. Let's see. This could also be someone that is quite, um, if you don't have really history with them, you know, it, it didn't do nothing to them or, or this is uh, the person that just sees you as, you know, someone that is quite defensive uh, or this person is cold because of what they've been through, maybe before you or, you know, with someone else, if someone is... Um, been is divorced or been divorced uh, divorced recently someone or separated from someone they got cheated on they could be a little bit bitter still here so the queen of swords could be that kind of or oh, it's my way or you know like someone that quite intimidates you or you they feel intimidated by you how you approach this conversation communication <laughs> oh wow wheel of fortune mm, yeah so this is the obstacle is could be timing but the wheel is usually positive change with unrequited love here feels like someone is not ready or you met at the wrong time who had this? Capricorn had that, something like that, met at the wrong time. It's not, you know, it's not the it's not the right time right now. They feel that also could be could even be time. Someone just feel like they had enough or they're running out of time to put in effort with with this relationship. You know, they've wasted time, they feel like If this is an ex, it could be someone that you've known for a long, long time, even 10 years, number 10 is there, a long, long time. So one of you doesn't really feel the same. Let's see one more card for that, Unrequited Love. Yeah, options also needing to uh, make a choice yeah there could be that right now this person yeah has the past still around them or you do and another person there's a few options here that's why you feel like there is um, unrequited or they feel like this because you don't give enough you don't talk enough you don't make a choice or they don't make a choice 
because that's not that isn't enough to keep it going. It's in the obstacle here. And this could be their goal or your goal, what you've envisioned for yourself. And you may not see that with this person at this time or in the future, they're going to be there for you. They're going to be a choice for you because maybe you've known them for a long time and, you know, growing apart, growing, just not feeling the same in the future. could also be age. One of you could be much older than the other. All right, let's see. I'm going to clarify what's this in the outcome because it's telling you to love yourself first, release X, that maybe you have children with them or they have children um, from someone else. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So someone is feeling like that, that they need to release you or you need to release this person because you know it's it's that time and you, you may not even be attracted to them any anyway anymore with the love yourself first you, you know this person may be done you wrong and you're putting yourself first finally or yeah so let's see what do they have to say to you You can join me in the extended reading by um, becoming a member of the channel. You have everything in the description below this video and in the comment section too. So let's see what do they want to say to Pisces mid-January. Kindness. So they want you to have more... Um, be more kind, respect also. So there's a lack of respect when you, you talk to each other or there's a, you know, with the Queen of Swords, still resentment, someone is still quite defensive, doesn't want to, you know, get too emotional about this, but very cold. And humility. So that's what I was seeing there with unrequited love. It's like the um, the obstacle is hum. Uh, you need. They want you to be more humbling to them. You see, when is that everyone else is, uh, is that are the same but on different paths? Also, humility. You have developed a loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. So maybe someone decides that this is not the path you know that they are uh, or they've walked a different path they want to walk a different path right now because this timing is not right and they want you to understand that and be nicer to them be more humble some of you that's what they they're telling you And if, he's, if this is someone that you've just met, is to kind of accept them. They will ask you to, you know, to see their perspective on the path of love. Maybe you find out things about their past that you don't like. Um, and, you know, they, they they're asking you to see it with the different, you know, different eyes, with the different, and to respect that because... To not be judgmental. Yeah, the Queen of Swords could be a bit judgmental. Or someone is doing that to you. Judging you for your past. This ex, especially, that you had children with. Okay. So, I will continue in the extended. If you want to join me there, you know. Everything is in the description. And I'll see you there. Thank you so much. If not, Pisces, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.